Hello everybody, today we are going to be talking about a new case coming up and this time it's only one week after the Lindell's banner and it, it caught us by surprise, a lot of us we expected it to be like the two weeks normal but this time it's going to come in in one week so I think they are like pushing the banners to catch up with the CN server so currently we gonna have Ifrito in the upcoming case coming on 21st of April for Asia server in the global server is which is uh, Asia for it will be in two hours time starting from the time I recorded this video and for NA and Europe I'm guessing it's around uh, the re the next reset which is around 12 hours all right so currently it's in the announcement that uh, Ifurito is going to come out so over here it says uh, Ifurito is a time limited event has been announced Ifurito is the celestial of the Kasi tribe so it is held in similar regards to Wadjet unlike the ambitious Wadjet Ifurito only cares about her own people so aka the Cassie tribe and also she holds like this huge uh, drill weapon that uh, she uses flame magic in uh, her skills so Wadjet is her uh, pretty influential and she realizes that Wadjet's influence had reached to her territory which is I guess the Cassie tribe so in this event if Rito is joined with Horus and so right now she's able to be drawn in the next next reset basically from tomorrow 21st April uh, 12 midnight for two weeks till May 4th all right so you must be level 7 and above to be able to see this this banner will come out um, next reset as seen here in the case announcement the next event is the benefit benediction a flame right this is ifrito's event so it's gonna coincide with the lindell event so if you're still pulling lindell i guess go for lindell i would say lindell is much more stronger than um ifrito but if you want like a support unit like Ifrito and you like the, the Nebus, Nebus faction go you can go for Ifrito right but before that we're gonna give you some discounts and codes sponsored by app gallery so you can get up to 65% off in app gallery so how do you install app gallery so basically app gallery is uh, one of Huawei's apps and then it has a lot of promotions includes discount coupons and cashbacks and it's valid for all android phones not just huawei and you can also use emulators like bluestacks and nox so yeah you can install it in your xiaomi samsung phones not just huawei and also you need an account that has to be in the europe region so once you download app gallery then then you update the hms core your login to your account which should be in the Europe region uh, Germany, France, Spain, Portugal, United Kingdom and Turkey Turkey is one of the regions that has a cheap, cheaper uh, options in the game if you buy through App Gallery so I, I believe that you should create a Turkey Huawei account right no matter where you are located, you can, even if you're in Asia, you're in uh, United States, as long as your account is in the Europe region, then you can gain these benefits, right? So what you need to do is that you need to download the game from the App Gallery store, and then you re please remember, remember to bind your account so you don't lose your account, right? You don't want to lose your account. Alright, so just bind it to Facebook or GT Arcade or Google and then you can get back your progress so you don't you don't lose your progress, right? Alright, so next 
once you download it and then you can play the game via it's the same you can still play the game you can keep your progress so currently there are two promotions actually three because first is a exclusive login uh, gift pack for first time users so offer one is an exclusive gift code for app gallery users you can gain 300 EV demo fights and 30 of that um, augmentation items the 100 faces and then offer number two is you can claim back up to 50% of your purchases so you can claim two discount coupons up to 50% off and you can claim it four times during this entire campaign period which is the entire of the month April month and then it's gonna show up like this in the video once you claim it you can you can purchase it using PayPal so and then you can apply the discount coupons and you can use it four times and it refreshes every 24 hours you can claim it each 24 hours and then you can also get back 15% off back in Huawei points in game purchases so for example spending 100 euros and you'll get back 15 euros in Huawei points so you get back 15 Huawei points and like I said 1 euro is equals to 1 Huawei point so you can like basically use these rebates you can minus off your purchase so you can save money so in this slide you can actually see that you can get back the offer and then you can buy in game and this will show up your payment method so in your payment method it's gonna see how much is paid and then you minus off in a discount it as seen in the video right and on this slide as well it's the same as the video basically you're gonna use the app gallery coupons right you're gonna apply it on the game you want to use it on so you apply it on Ecocalypse Scarlet Covenant and then it will automatically deduct the amount so you can join the VIP program if you spend like more than 500 euros you can claim a first time coupon of 50 euros back so you get a 50 euros rebate and also if you're in the VIP program you can claim up to 1620 euros worth of discount coupons every month and yeah so you can invite your friends if they have used it before they get 50% off in the last six months and like I said, if you spend more than 500 per month, you actually are entitled to the VIP program and they have tons of games uh, you may be playing or including Ecoclip Scarlet Covenant, which is which is here in the video promotion for April. And then don't forget to join the Discord for App Gallery Europe for more um, Yeah, more promotions and participate in the they have some giveaways in the D discord as well so you, you can join to join the app gallery discord for help if you have issues with uh, getting the rebates and you can also participate in the upcoming giveaways and more promotions showed in the discord itself so for the current month this is the app gallery and Ecoclips collaboration event so for one month you can get back the 15% off and you can also join the VIP program if you're spending more than $500 euros and then you can get that 50% discount coupons so what are you waiting for you can spend and get ready for the upcoming cases and new leaf that's also coming up so I have talked about Ifurito so I'm gonna show you guys Ifurito in the game because she's already her information and her skill preview is already in the game so you guys can get prepared for Ifurito because she's gonna be released on reset yep so let's go back to the game so you can see right now we have 72 units in the game and you can see Nabu 
So I'm gonna click Nabu and you can see her actually in the game already. Like I said, she's a control unit. So if you don't need Lindell uh, DPS, you need a control unit. You feel like you need a Nabu case. You can go for Ifrito, right? I, I would put her SS tier, right? She's a pretty good uh, control unit. So maybe some people want to have more control the control meta may be coming so right basically this is her skill control aoe control 10 percent resistance for nabu team members however i think not many people are using nabu so this may not affect too much at a one star so four star support team gets a 10 percent resistance and so resistance is for magic damage so it can help a little bit for against Yora, the magic DPS. And then at six stars, 10% additional HP. So you guys get a bit more tanky, right? Sounds good. And basically her skills. So zero to four star, honestly, not much difference on the main skill, uh, normal attack. So she gives one stack of sacred flame i'll explain all these uh, stacks later as we go on with her other skill so basically sacred flame on all targets so basically every one that she hits on the front row right and she deals magic damage so here her skill is a bit confusing right there's a chance of applying these different stacks and combinations so at one star a uh, zero star right zero to two star is the uh, same except for the numbers right so basically you can see here if Rito ignites the ground targeting front row enemies so basically in the normal attack she's also hitting front row so her skill is also hitting the front row and then applies one stack of heart flame right so normal attack is sacred flame and skill is hard flame see sacred flame for the normal attack hard flame for her skill applies one stack of hard flame so here are the three different types of combinations you can have baptism by fire igniting heartburn raging blood burn So, Baptism by Fire, immediately it receives true damage equals to 10% of max HP and it will not exceed 200% of Ifrito's attack and can only perform normal attacks. Also decreases crit resistance rate by 20%, it lasts for one round. Igniting Heartburn, very simple. Stun, stun the enemy for one round that the guy is unable to act for one round raging blood burn is a chance based on their hp that they won't be able to act so there's a chance that they can get stunned based on how much hp they have and receive true damage up to five percent of max hp but will not exceed ifrito's attack by 100 percent so you want to scale it to Ifrito's attack so this true damage cannot exceed based on 200% of her attack and then 100% of her attack for baptism by fire it's 10% max HP and for raging blood burn it's 5% of the max HP so it's gonna go up by like 1% per star 6% 7% So at 3 stars, she's gonna inflict spark on all enemies Okay, so I'm not sure how to explain spark So once we have the video coming up, we can showcase her skill She inflicts spark on enemies within range for 2 rounds So I guess it's like a debuff, some sort of debuff And then at 7 stars, she's gonna be increasing a 
here. See, additional applies one stack of hard flame to the target. Targets will also receive blind for one round. Right? So, seven stars, she's gonna inflict spark for two rounds, applies one stack of hard flame and blind for one round. So hot flame, hot flame here. So basically, just the additional blind effect, right? I don't know why they put it at the bottom. Because here she's already getting hot flames. Yep. So this is her passive, and the passive is how you combine the flames, right? So, Divine Flame plus Divine Flame equals to Baptism by Fire skill. The Heart Flame plus Heart Flame gives you Igniting Heartburn skill. And the Divine plus Heart gives you a Raging Bloodburn skill. So, basically, Normal Attack plus Normal Attack equals to Baptism by Fire. Skill plus Skill Ignite Heartburn. Divine, that means a Normal Attack plus Skill gives you a Raging Heartburn. So it's best if you can let her skill for two turns in a row. She's gonna stun that, that guy 100% chance. And if it's a normal attack to a skill, it's gonna be dependent on the enemy's HP percent. So yeah, basically she's a control unit. She can stun the enemies. And in the passive here, she also reduces the attack and hit rate of all enemies by 30%. So yeah, reduce hit rate and attack. In her artifacts here, one star dodge rate, crit rate, damage reduction, crit res resistance rate, block rate, damage bonus, critical rate. So here, seven stars, she gets like crit rate, damage reduction, more crit rate. So something interesting in the links, uh, she links with Yora, so Yora gives Ifrito more attack. She links with Garula for armor, Busted and Horus for HP. And here's the interesting one. Now, it's an upcoming next few units in maybe one to two months time. Yeah, maybe one to two, two months based on the CN banners release schedule. So. Here, Nal is not able to be seen yet. Nal will increase her attack by another 18%. So she can gain 36% attack total in links. So she has two links that gives attack. But for now, we can only use uh, Yora's link because Nal is not released yet. And so that is gonna be if Rito's skill. Let's see if her vibration arms are out. Yeah. Prototype, she's a prototype. Let's see the prototype. So for prototype, she gives here. So now this this is the one that's talked about the spark. When Ifrito lands a critical hit on the targets affected by spark. So this is the effect. After they get the debuff spark, she gains 10% chance to prevent them from taking any actions based on their current HP. for one round yep so basically another chance to stun the enemy 10% chance to stun based on the HP percent so it's like let's say the person has 80% so you have 8% right 10 times 80 and then you get 8% and then at 3 stars actually you get 30% chance so if the person has max HP it's gonna be 30% and if the person is at 8 80% is going to be like 8 times 3, 24, 24%. Right. Depending on how much HP they have. So it's kind of similar to that, the Raging Bloodburn, which is based on HP percent. And let's look for her actual vibration arms. So, oh, this is much, so much better. See? At 0 stars, she's already getting 50%. So. That's 20% more than a 3-star prototype. So, 
recommended to get her vibration arm. 50%, 60%, 60%, 70%. So at 3 stars also gains hit rate by 20%. So at 5 stars she gonna stun that guy for 100% based on HP percent. So if the guy has 100% HP, it's a 100% chance of stun. That's kind of crazy. And these are the level up Art artifice for all units, so not, not too much of a thing because it's the same for all units. You can transfer the Chimera level and the Vibration Arm levels as well, so it doesn't matter too much. And one more thing, yep, yeah, no lifts. They announced the Yata no Kagami, which is the shield, this shield uh, looking thing, and it's a shrine, shrine buff, debuff, right? It buffs and debuffs the enemy, buffs your team and debuffs the enemy. So at zero star, it's gonna remove one random debuff from one alley from the team, so one person in your team is gonna remove debuff 20% of their max HP will yeah remove one random debuff from one alley and increase their shield by 20% max HP so 20% of their HP is gonna become a shield so that means they have technically 120% HP right 100% plus 20% will give you a 120% so just think of it as a 20% shield 20% of a max HP so applies illusion illusory beauty for all allies so all allies all six of your team members after receiving the next active attack reduce the damage taken by 20% so this will reduce damage from active attack which is very important for Yora skill Kuri skill and Lindell skill although Lindell do more um, pursuits but her skill will also hurt right So once, once they get hit by the active skill, it's going to be taken effect and then the illusionary beauty will be removed. Reduce the damage taken by 20% and recover shield by 10%. So another 10% shield. So this is like a shield plus healing blessing from the shrine Yata no Kagami. So 0 star, 1 star, 2 star. Just a bit of percentage number changes, uh, you can read it yourself. 3 star here is additional buff. So, okay. so at 3 stars, she's gonna give you an attack for all allies, 20% for 2 rounds. So everyone is gonna increase your attack by 20%. And then at 5 stars, it's gonna be 50%. That is a lot of attack. Okay, 50% attack. 50% shield and that reduction of damage by 50 and 30% shield additional shield of max HP yeah so basically Yata no Kagami uh, it's pretty good I would say but not too good compared to like the DPS kind compared to the other upcoming uh, new leaves, right? There's supposedly another new leaves coming. So, what I think is that Long Genus is still pretty much in a meta. Long Genus gives rage reduction, and then it's gonna link up with the next case, which is um, Akira is gonna be also a rage rage reduction case. Yeah, that's the end of the explanation videos we are gonna see if i can pull for if retail tomorrow i have i don't i have about 100 draws here uh 73 s elementiums and 15k for what, what at least at least a zero star vr and one copy of the if Rito. i think that one copy of if Rito is uh, pretty reasonable and three stars for the additional spark skill so you can stun the enemies more and 
7 stars for a blind chance, right? Blinding for one round. That's the difference between 3 star and 7 star. It's not that much of a difference, but also increases her stats. So you can deal more true damage to the enemy. And yep, I believe that she's a pretty decent case. If you, you like her design, you like the Nabu faction, you shall go for Ifrito. If not, you can save for future cases. You, know? you can save for now, for example. Or you can save for Akira or... Yeah. In Yora, Yora is also lacking links, right? Or for example, you can save for Lumin. Right, Lumin also seems to be a pretty good character in based on CN. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Give a like, subscribe, comment if you have any questions. I hope to be able to answer them. You can also join the Discord for more information and people are willing to help in the Discord. So be sure to join the official Discord. They have some events there, sometimes Discord events. They gave out free skin previously. I think one of my guild members, they won the Yora skin. So very lucky of them to win the free Yora skin giveaway. And also recently they had a Q&A again in the Discord. So like the developers uh, answer to questions and they gave out a code. Code is a Dev QA gives D-E-V-Q-A-G-I-F-T-S, all caps. Yeah, and Lindell414 is going to... Expire on the 24th of April. So I'm gonna key here. Um... Lindell 0414 and the QA gift code expires on 3rd of May. Lindell 0414 and Dev QA Gears is gonna give you some Iridimor fights, 666, 666 Iridimor fights, uh, two nutrient solutions, and SSR gift chest, and 66,666 tribute points. And Lindell gives it gives you like a hundred Iridimor fights or something. Yep. So once again, thank you for watching. And I hope you look forward to the upcoming units coming to Ecoclipse Scarlet Covenant. And see you guys in the game. If you want to join, I'm in the Icefield Hull server in the Wagyu Syndicate. Right, we are in the zone 1 to 10. However, if you want to join in a less, con co less competitive, you can join a new server and then it's easier to catch up from there. If not, yep, that's gonna be it for this video. And hope everyone enjoy the explanation for Ifrito and Yatano Kagami's Neolith artifact, which is both releasing tomorrow on the 21st of April. So it depends on which server you're at and the reset time differs based on the region that you're in. Right, so NA, EU and Asia has different reset time so the asia server actually gets to summon earlier and with that thank you for watching see you guys next time bye bye